Okay, here we go. Season 5 time, guys. Let's uh, take a look at what they're offering us. Let's just take a look at the roadmap, because I uh, honestly might as well jump straight in. As you can see, it's dropping on the 24th. It's actually today the 21st. For some reason, someone told me it was the 22nd that this thing was dropping, so whoever the hell told me that was wrong. God damn it, what, what an idiot. You fucking retard. Apparently, as you can see, just from this background here, we've got the Atlas Superstore is making a return. Apparently, it's going to be, as you can see right here, added into... Urzikstan. So, as you can see, it's actually very different. Holy shit. I was expecting it to be like a replacement of the one that was in Verdansk, but like, just modernized and a little bit, you know, obviously the other one was mo modernized, it was from 20 2019, but I was expecting like a different, slightly different version, but this is uh, very different. So, we've got this added to Urzikstan. Valeria for whatever reason is coming into this game. I don't know why. She's from Modern Warfare 2, so, cool. I guess. I don't know how she really fits into this and why they've brought her back, but not decided to bring back Alejandro. So yeah, Urzik Stan Superstore Resurgence, there's that coming to this season. That's in season. Okay, that one doesn't matter. We've got gameplay features. We've got the redeploy drone beacon field upgrade. That's actually really useful because a lot of the time when you're playing Warzone, even though I don't play Warzone an awful lot, it does suck that you have to go around looking for the redeployment beacons and sometimes they're not even actually there. So the fact that we can get it as a field upgrade is going to be super simple to get yourself out of intense situations, especially if you're in like a smaller circle and you've got literally no escape out of that shit and someone's cornering you in the gas then that's going to be useful we've got bounty contest public event coming to resurgence so i'm guessing this is exclusively a warzone event not a multiplayer event okay let's have a look at weapons we've got a new assault rival which they're not going to give us the name of for whatever reason so i, I don't know we'll have to find that out i guess when the actual update rolls around we've got the static hv smg we've got this in season oh my god we've got two of these in season i know i'm I'm not supposed to read the in-season parts in the Season 5 video. That's for the Season 5 Reloaded. But what the fuck is going on with that? Spear? Why have we got a spear coming to the game? What the fuck? Okay, never mind. Valeria, of course. We got Rhea Ripley. Hang on, is this like a... We got Ivan. Okay, Ivan, he just looks like he's part of, uh, you know. He looks like he's a part of the whole group with Makarov. But uh, Rhea Ripley... I've heard apparently this is a WWE fighter, apparently. So, I, I, I really don't know what's going on there. Unless I'm wrong, I really don't know, but I'm pretty sure that is. We've got the Black Cell update, obviously. What the actual... What is this? We've got the Conquest event, e Echo Endo Live event. Fair enough, but what the fuck is this? Wildlife Most Wanted coming in season. That looks like some furry shit. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what cards becoming at this point. It's it's sickening. Uh, Cody Rhodes, Rey Mysterio from WWE again. Whatever. I I'm not even going to argue with it. Like, WWE Summer Slam event. I don't get it. I really don't understand why WWE is coming into Call of Duty. But I'm not going to argue with it. Aftermarket parts. In season, we've got a classified person, I guess. Or whatever the fuck that is. Okay, let's look at multiplayer. The pit I actually care about. And uh, zombies, of course. So, maps. We've got Bait 6v6. This looks really pretty, actually. We've got Yard 6v6, which just looks like a smaller section of Quarry, if I'm going to be honest with you. Quarry, I don't think it's actually labelled as Quarry in this game but you know which one i'm on about that one is in warzone i think it's a part of warzone's map and i think it's also in multiplayer but they've got yard 6v6 might be completely different because i don't think i've seen this massive crane thing before so that's going to be interesting we've got the emp grenade as new equipment we've got cell ship 6v6 and two knock side 6v6 and then ink house 6v6 so they're all kind of like cartoony illustrated versions of shipment rust and what's this one called again i i you know, it's not great that I can forget the name of a map in, in a game that I play pretty much all the goddamn time. Yeah, something house, you know which one I'm on about, that, that house that looks like something out of Breaking Bad. Yeah, they've, they've basically just made a bunch of, like, variants that are coming. One of them's coming in season. These two are dropping off rip, so that's awesome. We've got Slam Def... <laughs> Slam deathmatch, Jesus Christ. This is for WWE, I guess. We've got Arcade, Cod Warrior. What the hell? They're not even explaining what that's about, so I guess we'll find out when we hop on. And then these ones are 
looking kind of goofy as well now in season. And then we've got zombies. So in season, in season, in season. Everything for zombies is in season. They don't care about zombies, man. They've abandoned it. They've actually abandoned it. You know, generally looking at this, this isn't a lot of content. It it really isn't a lot of content. Like, yeah, cool. We've got like some variant maps, which are really nice, but we've got two new maps. That's all right, I guess. We've got new Warzone features, but other than that, it's really just a few skins and some guns, really. Not a ton coming into the game. Doesn't surprise me in the slightest, but anyway, so this is, this was actually published on July the 17th. So they really do be dropping these publications for the, for the updates way earlier than the actual thing is when it comes out. Okay, so we've got the cutscene launch trailer. I don't know if we'll get hit with it tomorrow or not tomorrow the 24th when we hop on so I don't know we'll just listen to it now I guess let's give it oh why do I have to put my birthday in come on come on you really gonna do this to me you're really gonna do this to me wow you don't think I'm old enough enter a valid date bitch that is a valid date what the fuck are you on about I'm sorry do, do, do these motherfuckers yeah they have they have to ah, they have to have me put it in the American format Ooh. Jesus Christ man okay I I'm probably going to get a copyright claim from this shit. Right, so it's just literally showing us that we've got Superstore. Yep, yeah, that's that's great. Cool. The inside actually does look awfully like the one from 2019, you know. I wonder how similar this actually is. I don't know if, how much different they can actually make Atlas Superstore look inside because I guess it's kind of like when you go to like Aldi or Walmart or whatever it may be. They all have their formats. They all have a general look to them every time you go in them. So, hey, I don't know. But, hey, it looks pretty neat. I might actually have to hop back onto Warzone for this because this is cool. I really like that. Yeah, okay. It's just showing us a bunch of fancy shit. Okay, finally, new multiplayer map, Bait. This is what it looks like generally. Bro did a body slam or something. That wasn't a body slam, my bad. That was like a chokehold takedown or something. Whoa, okay, hang on, wait, let's watch this. That's the that's the spear. I, I can't take that seriously, man. It's like we've gone into the Roman age. Why have we got spears coming to the game? <sighs> God damn. Shit, I mean, I, my, my type isn't toxic, masculine, warrior fighting women, but you know, shit. Jesus. Oh, this is the this is the drawing thing. Ah, yard. Wait, yard. Did I even see that on the? Yeah, I did, of course I saw it on the thing. All right, two knock side. Whoa. <laughs> okay. And cell ship looks lows better because it's actually daylight and it's drawing. Holy moly, that's actually like basically just normal shipment in daylight, but just better. Oh, and then yeah, WWE shit. Okay, yeah. Uh, I I really can't take this seriously. Get in the ring, bro. <laughs> God. Okay, yeah, that's the that's the cutscene. Okay, well, that's the generals, I, I suppose. There's not really a lot else to look at here. A lot of this is just going to be explaining the layouts of the map, you know. Talking about patches, all that good stuff, you know. Okay, so we're going to have, like, some really interesting new modes that I obviously cannot be bothered to read because there's too much information here. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot coming in. Okay, they actually didn't show this on the thing, but we've got, yeah, new rewards for ranked play. Of course, this is, like, the new blueprints, the new... Oh, weapon camo and animated emblems. Holy shit, they've got gold, platinum, diamond, crimson, iridescent. Iridescent, sorry. And then top 250. That is so cool. We've got actual, like, kind of metal-y or, like, you know, high-tier sort of camos that are, like, based off of, like, shit you would see in games. Because everyone knows that in ranked play, you talk about bronze, silver, gold, platinum, all that kind of thing. But now they've actually made camos and stuff for that and emblems. That is awesome. I still haven't played it, by the way. I still haven't played uh, rank play. J just so you know, <laughs> I haven't played it. We already know how an EMP works. If this is what it's going to look like, a big balloon bubble thing, like, that's pretty cool. Why is it that all the shit that's coming into zombies, though, is mid-season and it's also going to be the last bit of content we get? That is so sad. If you actually look at zombies overall, it has gotten the least amount of content in the entire of Modern Warfare 3. Now, maybe they're just trying to be smart here with their marketing and think that, well, you got to put the money where everyone's mouth is or whatever. You know, that, that kind of saying. Like, if no one's really hyping up zombies, why why put loads of money into it? And I get the logic behind that, but it's kind of sad. They don't add much to it, and then the only actual thing they're going to add to the season is not a lot of content. It's mid-season, and it's the last goddamn thing they're adding to it. What the fuck? Like, they, they've actually, they've starved zombies of its content. I, hey, look, I'm I'm just going to generally scroll for this. I don't really care to read any of this because, again, it's probably just going to be patches, other random shit, you know, stuff we've just seen on the roadmap. So, uh, I guess we're going to have to wait till the 24th, not the 27th. 
second to actually hop on, check out the battle pass and everything. So, uh, yes, yeah, see you then. Okay, guys, so it's now update day. Updates just happened. It took me about an hour to do, so that's uh, useful. But anyway, um, let's just, yeah, let's see if there's any extra cutscenes we're supposed to be, like, seeing here or whatever. And check out, obviously, the events tabs, if there's any new events. And then, you know, obviously, check out the battle pass. That's what we're mainly going to do here. I mean, obviously, we've got the whole season to play those modes. And if they're really that interesting, you know, I can, I can always just make a separate video about it. But anyway... <laughs> Oh, yeah, here we go. Uh, is this just the one we saw on the website? I swear to God. It, it, it is, yeah. It's the same fucking cutscene we saw on the website. I, no one cares. <laughs> so there's no actual... They don't even do actual cutscenes anymore that, like, pertain to a story or anything like that. They used to do that all the time with, like, Modern War for 2019 and stuff. But, hey, here we go. Apparently I had remaining tokens. That's insane. No way I had 78 remaining tokens. Yeah, I did actually finish last Battle Pass, thankfully. I didn't have to, like, worry about not having the shit finished. Season 5 Battle Pass. Hopefully it's not a stinker. Because, uh, I'm getting quite fed up of them putting stinky stuff in the store. Not that, not that they've had some really bad ones recently, but, you know, they do have a habit of sometimes making some pretty bad stuff. So, let's have a look. This is the tier 1 area. That is just mid as fuck. Rare Eep at all, that's nice, but I'm not gonna really need to use it unless I go and do the extra weapons and zombies I have left over. So we've got Night's End Black Cell and Night's End. These are so cool. Holy shit. That's kind of creepy, but the fact that we get it on, like, tier 1 is actually nice. Like, it's a creepy in a good way. You know what I mean? Like, that's the kind of skins we want more of. Like, they're, they're awesome. Laquarius, and we've got Laquarius Black Cell. Again, it's got that kind of generic Black Cell patterns moving up the gun. There's no real need to look at these in great detail. I mean, these are just kind of, like, average shit. Carpophorus. I hope I said that right? And Carpophorus Black Cell, which, as you can see, does look a little bit better, but still nothing really crazy. So far, the only thing I've seen that's good has been the first skin. Everything else looks pretty mid. We've got Luchadora. <laughs> is that meant to be WWE style or something? Like, what even is this? I can't tell if this is trying to hinder on Chinese-styled warrior art or WWE art. Like, I can't tell what the costume's supposed to be here. There's a lot of Roman stuff as well. What's going on with all these Roman-themed stuff? Trophy King. Nothing special. Trophy King Black Salt. Decent, I guess. It's got some cool electricity patterns coming off of it. I really, I do quite like, like, the, the Roman Spartan kind of stuff going on. That looks really cool, man. Uh, it, and, and that's a completely separate topic in and of itself, you know, like, the whole uh, Romans and stuff. Apparently that's, like, a trend. Well, apparently lots of people... Oh, they've explained what the assault rifle is. It's the STG-44. Oh, man. The last time we saw this was in Vanguard, and that was a World War II game. <laughs> I, I don't know what it's doing in a modern game, and if it's even a modern gun. I'm no gun expert. But anyway, yeah, but the whole Roman thing, apparently it's like a thing on TikTok where essentially people ask their husbands about the Roman Empire, like, do you think about it? And this was like last year, I think, and like early this year, people were saying that. Well, that's cool. Besterius. That's really cool, actually. That's for the Ram 7. But yeah, so as I was saying, there's a load of people saying that like it's common that dudes will like think about the Roman Empire, and I can't say I've ever thought about it because yeah. I don't really think about much historically, but I, I guess I've thought about it a few times, maybe. I mean, it's pretty cool. Yeah, you look at how Romans were, Spartans fighting in, you know, the arenas against fucking tigers and bears and shit. I mean, it is pretty badass, I can't lie. I do. I have thought about the arenas in Roman times, so I guess maybe I have thought about the Romans. It's it's a very funny topic, uh, and that is a funny hat. I don't know what the hell that is. Uh, Knights Resolve Black Cell. Okay, this one looks actually pretty cool. I mean, the hair on the, like, the Feather on the top, it looks goofy, but it's kind of neat. You know, they've crossed like a Roman's feathery kind of design with a operator. It's definitely interesting there. So far, I'm seeing some pretty interesting things. Free kick. Bro, no one can kick someone in the air like that. What? What is this? <laughs> this is just getting out of hand. I have no idea what's going on with this battle pass. Some of it is like Roman related. And then you've got this other shit that's just related to WWE. Like what's going on? <laughs> I'm so confused. Benign Hero, again, decent. I mean, these kind of painted blueprints look all right, you see. Like, look at this one. Really nice. And then the Black Soul actually kind of ruins it. Not gonna lie. I, was, I thought the Black Soul was gonna make it better, but this actually looks kind of nice, you know? But yeah, I, I'm, I'm liking the style of stuff going on here with, like, some of the Roman stuff anyway. It looks pretty interesting. And like I say, they haven't got terrible blueprints. Some of them are pretty mid, but some of them also look really neat as well. You know, some of the, the painted ones, we've got Ares. Yeah, Ares. Ares, I guess. I, guess. I don't know if it's Ares because it's missing the eye, but Ares Black Soul just looks like your average nonce. What did he say? Sculpted 
Aptitude. Again, pretty nice. Sculpted Aptitude Black Soul. I'm really not liking the Black Soul weapon versions this game, you know. I'm not gonna lie. They look pretty shit. Oh my god. Samurai's Camo. That is fucking badass. Holy crap. And then this is the Black Cell version. Holy mother of god. Yeah, I need that. I, I need that skin. I, I don't I don't need it, but I want it. You know, when I say I need, I don't actually physically need it. I'm not gonna die like I'm starving or something, but it this is the stuff we want. That kind of stuff. The skins. Cool skins, please. Give us more of those. I'm liking that there's a lot of Ethereum and crystals and shit, you know, stuff for zombies. That's kind of cool. Okay, we're on completionist area. Power bomb. That's, that's interesting. We've got the power bomb. We can finally do that in cod <laughs> obviously we asked for that yes death's medallion whoa this is like day of the dead is it that they celebrate in mexico or whatever i'm pretty sure i might be wrong i don't know what they actually call it. i think it's day of the dead and they've got death medallion black soul really badass and then here oh here we go eradicator for rhea ripley i mean shit bro you, you know there's gonna be people making those same videos they made on fortnite years ago like cake compilation <laughs> <laughs> like, they're gonna get people zooming in on the skin's ass and stuff like that. You know, that's gonna happen. I mean, shit, man. I don't like, like I say, I don't like my women muscular. I, I don't, I don't like her masculine, but like her face though. God damn. Fuck, I, I'm, I'm simping. Guys, I'm fucking sim I'm sorry, I'm simping. Okay, judge, jury, and finisher. What? We got cod points, a lot of them as well. Long live the king, black cell. That is a cool gun. That is what we want more of. What the fuck? That's actually good. And then we've got malleus, black cell. Cool. Again, really nice. Bits for the sledgehammer. Probably won't use it because I finished the sledgehammer. Unless I do it in zombies, actually. I do have a chance of using it there. But yeah, this is honestly the best skin here. What the hell? Reckoner. He's got like a cloak and then it kind of just comes off. Like it kind of goes invisible. A bit like the cloak from Harry Potter. You know, the one that makes you invisible. Like, look, we can see him for it. The skeleton. Oh my god. That is insane. And then this is the instant tap. Oh, we get this stuff instantly. Riptide. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. People are already going to be zooming in on that shit. I'm not going to do that because uh, I don't want you guys uh going off and you know doing any silly business so anyway um what? prisma trap again that is a cool blueprint we've got roving adventure for valeria roving adventure black cell again cool uh, and then we've got mammy <laughs> mammy <laughs> what the fuck now nah, but dude i'm not i'm not joking she actually has cake on her bro i'm <laughs> shut, shut the fuck up, Will. Shut up. Mammy Black Soul. Okay, cool. All right, that's the battle pass. I mean, I might as well claim it. I've got the 1,000 COD points to do it. And, you know, it all goes back into the ecosystem. We can just keep buying more and more Black Cells, more battle passes, whatever. Not the Black Cells, because you do actually have to pay for those, which is a bit shit. But, you know, it... We, it it lets us buy more and more stuff without having to uh, ever spend any money. And we just get rewards for it. Why wouldn't I take 100 free rewards or, I don't know, 150 free rewards? I don't know how many there are now with Blacks and all that. But I can actually buy the bundle version for once. As you can see, I've got a lot of spare COD points up there. So let's do that. Let's get the boost version so I can just, you know, cut some time off the season. I really don't want to have to spend every waking day of my life playing this game just to get the battle pass done. Not fun. So we're just going to, you know, get ourselves a boost right there. There we go. 20 tokens earned. God damn. So, uh, you know, this season's going to be full of extra down bad people. I mean, not people like me who just can appreciate some fine women. The, uh, we're talking like people who are going to be sat here going off and watching Fapathon shit for this. People who are going to watch content about that. You know what I mean? There's going to be some absolute losers. I've already seen some losers like that on Instagram who are like getting all excited and squirmy over fucking Valeria returning. I mean, it's just weird, man. Like, chill out. Chill out, man. Fucking hell. Okay, we've got the playlist here. Of course, the playlist that we saw on the site. We expected that. And then we've got 92 days on an event. Is this a countdown or are we actually got a new event here? There's no fucking event here. What do you mean? It's empty. <laughs> Bro, if it refreshes after this video goes up, I swear to God. Anyway, yeah, so that's that's Modern Warfare 3's update. That's pretty damn crazy, I'm not gonna lie. You know, yeah, I'm really liking this. This is cool. And can we just get an appreciation for the background music they've added in? Listen to this. Oh, shit. I mean, man. That this is that is some cool ass background lobby music. I can't lie. Anyway, guys, again, thank you for watching. If you guys did enjoy, smash a like on this video. Drop a comment letting me know what you think of season five because it's going to be one of the last seasons we have. Obviously, we got season six next, and that's it. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty crazy. Check out all the links down below in the description. It's much appreciated. And other than that, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye, guys.